So we have some pretty interesting switch sales. It looks like Nintendo just announced their third quarterly earnings sales for the Nintendo Switch and all the software. So let's take a look at some of the numbers. First off, we have the system sales. It looks like as of right now, the Switch has sold just a little bit over 32 million units sold and that is flat out fantastic. It definitely beats the Wii U which only sold 13 million units. I remember when the Switch was first being announced, some people were like, no, the Switch is going to be another flop from Nintendo. This whole gimmick of uh, hybrid consoles just not going to do well. But you can see here clearly from the numbers, people are loving the Switch at 32 million units sold. It's actually quite crazy. The Switch hasn't even been on the market three years now and it's about to surpass the old Xbox One. The Xbox One came out back in 2013, but there was a number of reasons why the Xbox One didn't do so hot. For instance, one at launch, it was $500. Second of all, it did come with a Kinect bundled in, and a lot of people I know were kind of worried about the Kinect, if it was going to spy on them and things like that, because apparently you had to have it connected all the time when you bought an Xbox One right from the get-go. And on top of that, Microsoft kind of messed up because they kind of promoted this DMR protection for the Xbox One and I know people were not happy about that how they were talking about oh you can't uh, play used games on your uh, system you can't trade used games all this DMR protection it's going to be a hassle of course that ended up not being the case but ultimately that did hurt the Xbox One and on top of that one bad thing the Xbox One does lack it does lack exclusives and you can see from console to console exclusive games are a reason to buy a system and you can see Microsoft really failed when it comes to exclusive on the, on the uh, Xbox One at least when it comes to good exclusives there's not many compared to other consoles and there's not a, an amazing amount they're kind of more focused on the whole xbox games pass at this point because you guys know they care more about the xbox games pass model and that's what they're really focused on so you can see a number of different things really hurt the xbox one as a whole but it's still crazy to think a system that's only been on the market a little bit over maybe not even two years now I would like to say it's going to surpass the uh, Xbox One in sales numbers that is absolutely crazy now let's go ahead and move on to the top 10 best selling games on the Switch at this very moment the very best selling game on the Switch as of right now is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which sold 15 million units and it actually beat the second runner up which is Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey at this very moment sold 13 million units. It used to be at one point the very Mo the most sold game on Switch, but currently Mario Kart is selling amazingly. I guess Mario Kart, it's not really a surprise because if you look at the Wii, the Wii sold phenomenally when it comes to Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii sold 37 million units. So you can see people just love Mario Kart. Anytime Mario Kart's involved, you guys know Mario Kart is a fan favorite. People are loyal to that uh, series. People just know that series is gonna be reliable. It's just a fun time overall, I get it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it's actually quite crazy to see the number one game being Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because that game is not even exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. It's actually originally, of course, a game back on Wii U. So to see it being the best-selling game on Switch is kind of mind-blowing because who would have thought a, a new system would come out and then the best-selling game would actually not even be an exclusive game to that system. It would actually be a port of another game on another system. So that is crazy. And then third up, we do have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at 12 million units. So that's for Phenomenally, doing phenomenally well and it's actually quite crazy because I remember last month I think last month Super Mario or Super uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate was already at 7 million units sold so just in a month it pretty much almost doubled how many units it sold so it's doing fantastic then next up we have Breath of the Wild Breath of the Wild uh, sold already 11 million uh, units sold and then Pokemon Let's Go Pokemon Let's Go game sold 10 million Splatoon 2 has sold 8 million Super Mario Party has sold uh, 5 million. And then the uh, the last three games are kind of very close. We have 1-2 Switch at 2.86 million. Mario Tennis at 2.53 million. And then the last game on the top 10 is, is Kirby Star Allies at 2.47 million units sold. You may have seen a trend there. The trend is, you can see clearly from this list, that the top 10 best-selling games are all first 
party IPs. You don't see any third party games on this list. And of course, you won't see any indie games. Indie games are for a just hit or miss a lot of people don't buy those and they're, they don't have the same quality as like first party titles so I get it but it's actually pretty surprising to see no third party games on this list some people may be saying uh, isn't uh, isn't third party support for a system very important yeah that is true but when you talk about Nintendo and Nintendo things Nintendo really makes a lot of first party IPs and they know how to make very good first party IPs as well so it's really no surprise as well I guess that all the top 10 best selling games are going to be first party IPs this kind of goes to show you that third party uh, supports not all that important I'm sure it is important to some degree because there are people who are still going to buy switch for this uh, third party game that's on the Nintendo Switch and it helps also that the Nintendo Switch is a hybrid system so that's probably pushing sales as well but I guess to be fair going back to the third party support most of the third party support on Switch have been older games so I can see why they wouldn't be on top 10 they're games that a lot of people already played on other platforms whether we're talking about Skyrim Diablo Dark Souls and then we also have a new rumor coming up about it's already confirmed that uh Darksiders is coming to the Nintendo Switch. You can see a lot of these third-party games aren't new games. They're actually old games from like many years ago or just a couple of years ago. But either way, you can see these are very old games. So I can see why they wouldn't be on the top 10. So you can see Nintendo games always do the best on Nintendo platforms because they just... Nintendo just has that Nintendo magic. People love their games. The quality is there and everything like this. And this is just mind-blowing that the Nintendo Switch is doing phenomenally well. It just goes to show you pretty much a lot of people were wrong about the Nintendo Switch when they first uh, announced the Nintendo Switch. People don't necessarily always care about graphics and uh, things like that. You can see the hybrid aspect of the Switch is also what's helping it stay alive and and watch uh, motivating people to go out and buy the system because they love how you can play your games uh, at home or play your games on the go on a TV anywhere you want and that's absolutely something you can't get on any other uh, platform out there whether it's PC PS4 or the uh, Xbox one you just can't get the same experience on the Nintendo switch and on top of that I think this generation Nintendo really hit it out the park with uh, first party games are Nintendo exclusive games. We really didn't have this type of caliber of games when it comes to the Nintendo uh, Wii U. The Wii U didn't have games like Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey to really pull the system through. But you can see Nintendo is really killing it when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. Anyway guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.